starts school. The day that Miss Cluck said there was going to be a new animal in class, everyone was very excited. When Mrs Cluck said that the new animal was a bear, the other animals squealed with delight. Letitia the Rab wondered if it might be a fluffy pink bear, like the one in her lunchbox. Maxwell the Mole wanted a floppy brown bear with velvety paws. The mice hoped for a bear in Wellingtons and a duffel coat. Fergus the Fox Cub thought any teddy bear would be just fine. So when the classroom door opened and Miss Cluck introduced Boris, everyone screamed. For Boris wasn't a teddy bear, he was an enormous, hairy, scary, grizzly bear. Miss Cluck found Boris a seat next to Maxwell. Boris wanted to say hello in his politest voice. But as he sat down, there was a loud crack. It made Maxwell hide his face in his paws. Oh, Boris, said Miss Cluck, we'd better find you a bigger chair. Mrs Cluck gave Boris a new book and a pencil. He was very proud indeed. With a big friendly grin, Boris turned to show the mice. But Boris forgot how fierce his teeth were. He forgot how big his paws were. And he forgot how sharp his claws were. Somehow, the mice got scattered across the classroom. Somehow, the pages of his new book got ripped. Somehow, there was a panic everywhere. Boris is too big, cried one little mouse. Boris is too hairy, yelled another. Boris is too scary, they all squeaked together. Oh, Boris, said Mrs Cluck, please try and be more careful. At lunchtime, everyone sat together. There was not enough room on the bench for Boris, but nobody moved up. So he sat all by himself and dipped his big paws into a large jar of honey his mummy had packed for him. When lunch was over, Mrs Cluck said everyone could go off and play. The mice began a game of hide and seek. Everyone ran to find a place to hide, but Boris was too big. So Boris shut his eyes and counted instead. One, two, three. Coming to get you, Boris boomed. Eek! Stop, stop! No, no! Letitia shook with fear and clung to Fergus. Maxwell ran crying to Mrs Cluck. Let's go inside and play some quiet games, said Miss Cluck. And Boris, please try to be less scary, dear. The animals sat together in a circle. There was no space for Boris. Boris had nobody to play with and nobody to talk to. Tears filled his big brown eyes. Large teardrops rolled down his nose and splashed onto the floor. I'm a scary bear, he sniffed. I'm a hairy bear, he snobbed. I'm just a great big grizzly bear. It seemed like a very long afternoon. At last, it was time to go home. Mrs Cluck stood and waved as the animals set off through the woods. Maxwell scampered through the leaves. Letitia hopped along the bank. Fergus ch chased the little mice around the tree. Boris plodded along, far behind. Suddenly, from a hollow tree, leapt the rat pack. Well, well, if it isn't the boo babies, and the meanest, said the meanest rats, just look at the sky. Geardy fox and the weedy chicken little mice. Letitia, Maxwell, Fergus and the mice trembled while the rat pack circled them. The rat packs didn't see Boris plodding along the path. All Boris could see was loads of excitement ahead. He wanted to join the fun. Huffing and puffing, Boris stood up tall to greet the new friends with his biggest, wild, widest bear grin. And... Yikes, it's a hairy bear. Help, it's a scary bear. Quick, run, it's a hairy, scary, grizzly bear. The rotten rats ran away as fast as their skinny legs could carry them. But I only wanted to say hello, called Boris. When Boris turned round, the other animals cheered. Boris is a hairy bear, they sang. Boris is a scary bear, they chanted. We are so delighted that Boris is our grizzly bear. Suddenly, Boris felt very shy. If you're going to be a bear, he said very gently, then it'd probably best be a hairy, scary, grizzly bear. The next day at school, the animals couldn't wait to tell Miss Cluck how Boris had saved them from the nasty rat pack. Oh, Boris, said Miss Cluck, 
what a good bear you are. At story time, everyone rushed together. At story time, everyone rushed to gather around Miss Cluck. There wasn't much room once Boris had sat down, but the rest of the class didn't mind one bit. They all had a soft, warm place to sit, after all. The end. <laughs>